Now to Stewart, where homeowners could be on the hook for thousands of dollars. It is all about whether to force thousands of residents to switch from septic tanks to a sewer line. John Zanitas is live in Stewart. And, John, this is a big move that could clean up local waterways. Yeah, the septic tanks are a big environmental issue. They're polluting the river, they're polluting the lagoon, but it's the homeowners who would have to pay for a new sewer line, and it is not cheap. Right? It kills me that this is here. Marjorie Shropshire agrees. It's time for a change. Right? And it's a big round thing, you know, so it's in the ground, right? Right in here. Aside from Lake Okeechobee discharges, scientists have found old septic tanks are also big polluters of the Indian River Lagoon and St. Lucie River. And they had a role in the massive toxic algae bloom in 2013. It's time to begin cleaning up the problem in the worst areas, these hot spots. Martin County wants to replace septic tanks with sewer lines, but it's going to cost homeowners more than $10,000 each. Marjorie worries about lower income neighborhoods like Golden Gate. Somebody has got to find a way to help these people. They are not going to be able to come up with $11,000. Now, county commissioners may decide in December whether or not to move forward with this plan. Homeowners would pay $850 a year, not one lump sum all at one time. Reporting live in Martin County tonight, John Zanitas, WPBF 25 News. 